This is a quick tutorial on using the Medline database to locate scholarly articles. First, we will identify our search terms based on our research question. In this example, our research question is, does socioeconomic status affect children's likelihood of acquiring dental caries? The keywords in this question are dental caries, socioeconomic status, and children. It is also helpful to brainstorm alternate words to use in your search. As you are searching, feel free to change your search terms to retrieve different results. Now we'll start our search. Let's enter the search term dental caries into the first search box. This search will retrieve all results related to dental caries, which is a broad topic. If I select search now, I will retrieve an overwhelming amount of results. To make our search more specific, we will add our other keywords, socioeconomic status and children. You could use the advanced search options on this page, such as data publication, age range, publication type, and other categories, but you can also filter your results after you search, which is what we're going to do now. This search gives us 648 articles, which is a high number of results. We will now use the filters on the left side to narrow our search further. Let's change our date range to show results from only the most recent research. In this case, we can change the date range to the last five years. Now we have 229 results, which is a more manageable number. As we look at the other filters on the left side, we see that all of our results from this search are articles from academic journals. We also see some of the main subjects of our results, which may give us other ideas of keywords to search. We see the names of publications in which the articles were published and additional categories below. Turning to our list of results, we want to first look at the titles of the articles linked in blue. If the titles are relevant to your topic, you should then look at the article abstract, which is a summary of the article. By hovering over the magnifying glass on the right, you can scroll down to quickly see the abstract. You can also click on the title of the article to see more information including information you need to cite your sources. To get access to the article from this page, you should look to the upper left corner to see a link that says PDF Full Text or Full Text Finder. Looking at the PDF, we also see the information you need to cite your sources in APA format, including the title of the article, author's names, the title of the journal in which the article is published, the publication date, volume, issue numbers and page numbers, and a DOI. From here, you may download this article to your device or save it to a USB drive or print. On the right side, you also have additional options. You can save the article to your Google Drive. You can print from here. You can use the envelope icon to send an email to yourself by entering your email address here. The icon that looks like a yellow page also gives you citations in different formats, including APA format. These citations are not always accurate, so please remember to check and revise the citations if necessary. Lastly, the yellow folder icon allows you to add the article to a temporary folder to look at it later. Returning to our list of results, you may also add items to a folder by clicking the blue folder at the right. The articles will be added to a temporary folder, which is accessible from the top of the page. These articles are only saved in the folder during your search session and will not be saved permanently unless you create an account. To create an account and save articles permanently, select Sign In at the top of the page and choose the option to create an account. Looking back at our results list, if you are interested in an article to which we do not have access, you can request the article through Interlibrary Loan. First, click on the Full Text Finder link to your desired article to find out if you will be linked to an article in another database. This means that our library does not have access to this article, but you can request the PDF to be sent to you from another library. To request an article through Interlibrary Loan, just click on the link and log in to Iliad using your username and password. Article requests are typically processed within a few days. 
Looking back at our results list, you also have the option to limit your results to full text, so you would only see the articles to which our library has full immediate access. Please remember to change your search terms and filters to see different results. For example, if you have thousands of results, make your search more specific. If you have zero results, you might broaden your search. Librarians are available to assist you with research during all of the library's open hours in person, by email, and by phone. Please don't hesitate to ask questions.